Okay, folks, here we go. Beano Black. And how's everybody doing the Veterans Day evening? Uh, Super Giants main sequence. And uh, we're rolling in here with the idea that I've had these photos up for quite a while. And so the idea that we're not cake baking yet, the idea that I've been looking at this stuff since I seen a guy early this spring, just before the Fuka fudge up, the nuclear thing. And yeah, we, we'll go to the right here. I think I can scan over it. But this is what we were talking about. This is video is going to be about the Super Giants main sequence. And somebody, if you watch my past videos of the last six or so, was talking about one of these sons that has slipped out. And this was the data that I pulled up back maybe about three months ago and put on here, or even further back. The idea that these super giants have and do move around and the idea that there is a good possibility that when you go to Soho and it'll be like the last photo I show you here that the idea that it looks like an angel or something on the blue background that we see up and down and it could be the positioning of the high rise left right and everything like that ascension of this whole body of the super giants every day or in certain time spans of the Soho shots, of the blue shots and other ones, if you can decipher it. Uh, sometimes on telescope shots, that if someone shoots the super giants, it'll look like this. And people try to fake bake it that it's Nibiru. Uh, there's a good possibility that Nibiru is out of the super giants and the super giants main sequence and the giants. The giants are here, main sequence is a whole doggone thing. Uh, super giants and the idea that the sun is around in this area and actually possibly more farther back now I will give you an old photo and we will research tonight and go to some data and try to relink up with it and see where the sun is positioned at currently in the super giants main sequence and I you watch all my last dozen or so last movies and the idea that you will see the crowding especially if you would see the space shuttle with astronaut officer Scott being communicated from out of, uh, I think, Huntsville, when that communication line was coming for NASA, they have lots of communication lines, and the idea you will see the crowding in space. This stuff is hella far away, but in space, space is a vacuum, and with possible travel that we have now or we will have in the future, and not probably far off, uh, we can travel hella fast in space, ladies and gentlemen. It is a vacuum. To get it in your heads, really, that we are getting closer to the sun and the supergiants, and the sun is in the supergiants, i.e., there's the current distance, and let me back up the page and show you what we had recently. So the idea that it's easy for us to keep track of where we are in space and getting closer to the sun. Largest distance ever is 94.50913 million miles, which is one, a little over one IU. Nearest distance we've ever been is 91402505. All right. So the idea that we are still off of our all time closeness, but we are working towards, there's our current 999, zero, I mean 099, all you, and that current million miles is. This is the closest we've ever been that we know and have record of. And the idea that right now we're at 92.04 million miles. So we're not far off the nearest distance ever to the sun and getting closer. As IE, this is our current today. Okay, so let's go. We've had the last previously. We are getting closer. All right, on my favorites, this is uh, the last time I checked. Now on my video, I may have checked earlier, but this is what I favorited. So the idea at that time, we were that far away, 92, 13 million miles. So if you just reverse this recording, and I'm not writing and taking notes, but the idea that that will show you that the idea that we are a little closer. right. So all you got to do is reverse it, and you will see. And the idea that for just the hell of it, let's just back up one page. So here we are, current result. And I believe we got the date right there. There you go. So we're down from the 9911. So we're getting closer all the time. Super Giants are right there. Well, let's give you some Super Giant information. So here we are, folks. 
and it is today the 11 11 2011 and we are seeing some of the hundred names of super giant stars here and quickly I'll move down to the map and we'll come back up and register all the hundred of them your Hertzberg Russell diagram of the super giants currently current uh, earthquake action 2318 GMT 11-11-2011 and for those naysayers out there let's take a look at USA action and everybody knows about the earthquakes we've had New Jersey Virginia Philadelphia area Missouri Arkansas Oklahoma's got a lot of activity lately so changes are a changing i.e. Basically, three, four hours ago. Four hours ago, Oklahoma had a 2.8. They've been up to, I think, even they got as high as like 4 point something, what, 4.7 or something like that. So, everything is not just the same as a regular old world that you know of. Pop back into my Supergiants pirate site, where the idea that I'll scroll down here on the side, and you'll see that the idea that I have been away from my site for a long time, but basically, we still let you know about RAD, CPM, and watch my last video. To have the nuclear crimes and the my regular Bino Black address that you can go to so you know it's me. And basically, you'll be able to have... And what this is what brought me up to make a little video of Super Giants because at least somebody's got a brain out there and was looking at my photos and realizing that what I'm talking about is actually the truth. We are in at least our sun from our Milky Way galaxy is in the Supergiant's main sequence. This is old put in, okay? So what we're going to do is I'm going to go in and find out where it's sitting at now. I.e. I made the original one. If you go to my photos at my Supergiant's main sequence site, you will see this one. Uh, it'll I'll leave it there for, for however I long possibly can because the idea made this earlier this year. So the idea that the sun is either farther back in or starting to come back out of the supergiant. So let's see what's going on because we know we're getting closer to the sun. So here we go, folks. Uh, so far, I have not been able to get a Hertz sprung Russell diagram of the sun with the supergiants, but all we gotta do is go research the supergiants and see here that we know where the supergiants are sitting at. This is current, 1111, okay? As you can see, the clock down there, and I did the search. And you'll also see right there. Okay? So, 11 11, 2011, there she is. Okay? The sun is in the Supergiant's main sequence. Okay? No scientist, astro so no astronomer, uh, scientist is going to argue with you because the idea that they can't argue with data. Real. That's right. Hertzberg Russell diagram, hard data. Okay, the sun is in the supergiants, folks. The world leaders and everything can't lie to you anymore. The sun's there. So we're gonna call this one basically the panties off the sun, folks, because the idea that I have a Hertzberg here with the sun and the supergiants together. So this is what we've actually got going on right now. Okay, this is our alignment. Now, I do believe I can get on top of it and see there is the sun, folks. So right now, we're going to now know that Rigel Canteris B is in front of the sun, folks. So I'll be researching that, and that'll be my next video. Dub He is behind the sun right now, currently. Okay, This is currently 11-11-2011. Okay? Now, the way that that's drawn, and I'm trying to get another something else to come up, but I guess, basically, there's nothing with the sun now. Alaraf should be somewhere behind here. So I'm just going to keep on going over this real fast and we're going to finish this video out with me just going like this and this is going to be a big reference video so you really need to save this video folks. There's Cyrus that we know of in the constellations and it's part of the Supergiant's main sequence. Rallis, Rassalakla. What I'm wondering about is where is Alaraf at? Is Alaraf impregnated with the sun right now? Because as you can see, their drawings are a little goofy, but the idea that when I try to get it to come up on there, Alraf doesn't show up. 
So Alaraf should be somewhere around on this, or the idea that it must hella take off. And as you can see, astronomers and historians and all of the like, the idea that I think that you're seeing the same thing that's coming to mind in me, that the idea that our friends, the Masons, the idea that there is a very, looks like some kind of a connection between, they have a compass, folks, if you're an architect, old school, not the modern day, that the idea that it's a compass, okay? So the stars are God's compass or the spirits because the idea that there sure is something, because these things are way bigger, so up to 74 times the size of the sun, a lot of these stars, folks. Now there's tons of stuff bigger than man out there. His space humbles very, very many men. The idea that there is bigger out there, folks. There is always bigger. So, going through all these, since I idea that it's faster than going in and, and looking at the, uh, there's Batega this way back there. And some of these might be repeating as I'm going through here too. And you're probably like, hey, you were just there a little bit ago, but whatever. I'm just going through here and letting you guys know. And like I'm very much interested is Alaraf. It's like what's happened to Alaraf. So basically I suppose I'll probably finish this up with looking at Alaraf. Also I wanted to throw in, I guess I better hurry up because the clock is running. See if I can get a Soho shot. Now if I don't get time for that and I'll hurry up and upload this. And right there, folks, there's the sun, okay? The sun is in the Supergiant's main sequence. Where we will go from here, we do not know, because as you see these jockeying around of these stars, it is pretty uh, cantankerous. And I do not not know, or normally NASA knows, if they would tell us the truth, start spilling some beans. My name is Beano Black, folks. We don't want to see no black day for Earth. So the idea that we want to start knowing what the hell is going on, it sure would stabilize some economies if they just kind of bleed something. But if they don't know, they don't know. And that would be helpful too because at least the idea that maybe even some kind of a shade tree astronomer like me could sit here and keep you guys informed every day and see what the heck's going on. Because I love looking at the stars. Everybody does. Uh, or at least anyway, anybody that does catch the fever. And I have. I've caught the fever looking at the stars. So the idea that the sun is up there with the supergiant's main sequence, there's no doubt about it. You're looking straight up here. Hertzberg-Russell diagram. Scientists and astronomers worldwide look at this stuff. And this is their roadmap. So there's the sun back there right now. So Rigel Contiris B, let's see if we can find out about that bugger. Hey folks, how come our our science teachers didn't te tell? Maybe the astronomers found all this stuff out when they when we had the latest. Okay, so Cantaris B has a brother or sister, Cantaris A. All right, but let's go to Rigel Cantaris B. Cantaris, Cantaris. So folks, all Rigel Cantaris B are all visible by the naked eye pretty much the majority okay the idea that you see the star at late at night in the dark up there and here's our Hertzberg Russell diagram and there's our Cantaris B that's behind the Sun back up to the data it's 5000 K so there is very good the idea now this is a spectral class in the color so the idea that this is our probably our baby star that we are seeing the baby B star, Rigel Cantaris B, okay? It's front of the sun, rising every day, disappearing pretty much over Europe, over top of the earth, at somewhere around, we figured, 9.30 UTC time. And anywhere from 1 to 3, uh, 3 a.m. UTC Zulu time, that is what we are seeing rise, okay? And there you can go looking for it. And there's some near objects and Cantaris AB, Cygnus, and all that stuff. Okay, so coming up with Centuri. 
Centaurus A, probably get a peek of it. Some panties off the sun one, legal disclosure. We'll